Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install this KNN oil separator. Um, now, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you have a 10 millimeter extension uh, because you will have to take off this coolant reservoir and it uses a 10 millimeter bolt right here. So take that off, this pops off. Put the mount, this top piece here, behind it, there's a bolt that goes in that's 10 millimeters as well. Screw that on, make sure it's pretty snug so this isn't moving around. Just goes right behind your oil, um, where you put your oil in. And then these rubber pieces just snap right in, bolt that back on. Now these pieces, these um, male hoses that connect into here, uh, adapters, whatever they're called. Um, you will get some tape in there for like plumber's tape. You'll put around it thread it in don't thread it in all the way just till it's snug and then what you're gonna do make sure canines facing out this way because one side has like a little kind of like filter thing and you're gonna connect the small hose on the left side it'll say in there down to this spot where this old hose was at um, down to this spot right here instructions will tell you then this old one connects to a spot back there that's where you put the long hose at should look something like this. I'll give you some input on, um, cause other brands, people have said they've heard like some whistling sound, like a vacuum leak sounding. Um, and a lot of times it's cause they don't put enough insulation on these. Now these seem pretty thick, especially thicker than this. So I'm assuming there's probably some good insulation in there and I'll let you know if I hear any whistling, but I'll give you an update, uh, what a month or even a week looks like. Uh, see what we get in there. So what happens is when your combustion um, happens, it gets the airflow through and it kind of like recycles it and it goes over your valves, your intake valves, and that gets carbon buildup, oil, and all this bunch of crap that's going through their gas. And this catches it for you. So your intake valves will have less carbon buildup. I figure it's a new truck. Might as well put one on and see uh, how well it does. and protects it and longevity of the vehicle itself and so I have that in there and uh, give you guys an update all right guys so this is after a thousand miles I went on a trip highway most of the time and I mean this just caught it looks like like oil looks pretty finely watered so I don't know if it's Could be a mixture of fuel. I don't know. But yeah, this is a six ounce canister and going 75 miles per hour most of the time, maybe 80. And this is how much it's caught already. And that thing is just things like milky looking. So it does something. Definitely did something. Now think about that. That would be going right back over my intakes. Um, so for it to catch that much, that's pretty crazy. So my intake valves. So I think it's worth it. I think it's doing something. And imagine that going right back over it. Burning, gunking off because there's nothing in there cleaning it. At least not that I know of with these new Chevys. I don't think they added any... Um, indirect fuel injectors just to help clean those valves which some of you some companies are starting to do because it's such an issue um but for the most part i mean that's crazy it's a lot of gunk in there and uh just can't believe it so let me see if i can find something to just store these in so we can uh just see pretty much what we're looking at when it breaks up all right, so I wanted to uh, address, so I didn't put it into the uh, jar to be able to see after time it settles to see what separates and that, but um, I did mention earlier, I'll let you know if there's any whistling sound because of the insulation, and I have not noticed any uh, whistling sound that sound like a vacuum leak, nothing. Um, the truck ran great, um, didn't see any mileage difference. Uh, I did on the interstate when I was going like 75 
to 80. I was getting like 20 miles per gallon, which is not unusual for that truck, um, depending on wind. So if I'm going against the wind, I'll get like 18. Uh, but trip for most of the time, I was getting anywhere between 19 to 20 miles per gallon. So really good stuff. No whistling sounds. The contaminant now, I know the milkiness is usually like humidity gets in there. Um, and it was raining the days that I was driving, like most of the days I was gone, it was raining. So I'm just assuming that the humidity got into that catch can and, um, or through some sort of way, uh, to get in there and cause it to look milky. Um, I did smell it kind of when I smelt the oil that was in there, um, it did seem like it might be a little bit of gas in there. I don't know for sure, but the oil is also a little finer because it's a zero weight 20 and it oil is warm anyways already that can because I was just got back from my trip. So I don't know. All I can think is humidity might have gotten to that can or there was some kind of gas burning off in there. Who knows just letting you know update on everything that was going on but everything's great um, so far everything's running smooth right now I'm on a different project so I hope this helps you out I hope you figure out whether you want to get an oil catch can or not I think it's I recommend it just because if you spend all this money on a new vehicle what's 150 bucks for something you know is going to help protect the motor for longer and uh, actually keep the intake valves from gunking up and causing your fuel mileage and also having misfires or pre-combustion um, due to oil getting in there, or gas or whatever. Uh, so it'll cause your motor to start to wear out faster while this will prevent it. So, all right guys, that's it for this video. I hope this was informative and I hope you were able to learn a lot from it and decide whether you want to do it as well. I mostly did this just because there's no k and videos really out there for newer trucks. Um, so I, I hope this was informational and uh, you can benefit from this. All right.